Hello guys and welcome to the first episode of Kingdom From Scratch. Today's episode I am going to share with you the Kingdom's Watchtower. Before I tie myself down with clearing the land and mapping out all of the structures for the Kingdom, I just wanted to kick back, relax and build something cool. So the first thing I did was I found the perfect spot to build the Watchtower, it's perched here on top of this small hill. It overlooks the whole plot which I'm going to use for the rest of the Kingdom. I hope you enjoyed today's build and I'd love to hear your guys feedback on the tower. Like the video and consider subscribing if you enjoy. So let's get into the build. Firstly as you just saw we cleared some trees to make space for the tower. The foundation for the tower is a 5 to one circle on all four sides. I'm adding in some details using different types of stone blocks, slabs and stairs. Next I punched out some holes in the walls and filled them with different stone blocks to add more detail and break up the cobblestone. Now I'm beginning to build the next section up. Again I'm using multiple stone blocks to add detail throughout the build. I messed around with some different glass blocks and in the end I decided to use inverted stair blocks and dark oak fencing to make an unusual style of window. I think it gives an Asian feel to the tower. I then added a few iron bars and dark oak fence pieces to add in some extra details. The following section is built up using oak wood for the framing and closing in the sides there with multiple stone blocks. Next I started to play around with prismarine blocks, slabs and stairs to add colour and make the tower start to stand out. I think the colours from these blocks combined with the dark oak fence add to the Asian feel of the build. The next stage was to fill in the open spaces between the oak frame. I was really unsure what to do here but I decided to go with different coloured clay blocks. To add some detail to this section of the tower, I added in some prismarine slabs around the outside and at the base of the tower, also some oak blocks and different leaves as bushes. I've also used grass blocks and trap doors as planters and some nether brick wall in the corners. I think the prismarine and the nether brick combined with dark fencing goes really well together and I'm planning to use the same style for the rest of the kingdom. I use lanterns quite heavily in this build and throughout my other builds, but you could use torches if you wanted instead if lanterns aren't your thing. Going along with the rest of the build so far, I'm adding in more dark oak fencing to break up those clay blocks that we added into the build earlier on.
we are starting to get some height on the tower, I'm starting to bring it in slightly using wood framing once again and simply filling in the walls with our chosen stone blocks. Keeping the detailing the same, I'm adding in more planters and prismarine accents to break up the walls a little and then punching through some gaps for the windows using inverted stair blocks give the window a nice shape and I think it moves away from that generic square shaped window. adding a nether brick wall and randomly placing lanterns for contrast and extra effect. What are you guys thinking about the build so far? If you have any suggestions then why not drop a comment. If you're enjoying the video then please leave a thumbs up. Now this next stage of the build is where the details really start to stand out. Those dark oak fencing are there to close in the gaps between the wooden framing and I think it really adds some depth and character to the walls. Now we're starting to move on to the final section before we begin building the roof. I started by building out with prismarine spares and blocks before bringing it in further with the same style framing. I then laid out the last of the windows for the build before detailing the frame with more dark fence panels and I filled in the walls for a final time using our chosen stone blocks. And now lastly we move on to the roof, of course using the same prismarine blocks and stairs once again. I went for a square roof this time rather than a rounded spire as I felt it would suit the theme more. Final detailing is now going in, lots and lots of lanterns are spread them around all levels of the tower. The very last addition to go onto the tower is this little spike here that I've built up using never brick wall, again to contrast with the prismarine. So there we have it guys, the first structure for the kingdom is complete and I think I have a good starting point to work with. 
I hope you enjoyed the build. What's your thoughts on it, guys? Drop a comment and let me know what you think. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.